hey guys it's your girl nasi you all are welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut princess that bustier it's beginners friendly and if this is something you're interested in please keep on watching okay guys let's go so we're going to be ruling out our shoulder line Sorry, my marker is not working. I'm going to make it a pencil. This is going to serve as our shoulder line. So from there, we're going to measure out our bust line, our breast point. The bust line, we're, we're, the bust point we're working with is ten and a half. Then after the bust point, we're going to measure out our under bust. The under bust is fourteen. Then the half length we're working with is 17 plus half inch for sewing allowance. Then we'll rule out the line. Okay, guys, we're done ruling out this line. Then the next uh, vertical measurement we're going to take now is our chest line. Our chest line, how to get your chest line, you divide your bust measurement by six and add 1.5 inches inch. Then when you do that, what I get is 8.33. Then when I approximate it, it is 9. So 9 inch for my chest line. So guys, this is it for the vertical measurement. Then after that, we're going to get our shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 8. Eight. Then I'll bring down this eight here because I'm going to rule a straight line like this, so it will help me mark out a straight line. So then I'll mark out the line. So on this line, I'm going to get the midpoint of this line. This line is going to serve as my armhole line, so I'm going to get my midpoint. I'll divide the line this way. So this is my midpoint. On this midpoint, I'm going to come in by half inch this way. Then I'll connect the line. That's my armhole curve. I'll connect the line to this place. So guys, we're going to come down here by one inch for our shoulder slope. Then we'll measure our neckline. The neck we are working with is three inches. The neck depth is also 3 inches, so it's 3 by 3, so we'll connect. Guys, I hope you people are seeing what I'm sketching out. My marker, they are not, I think they are finished, so they are no longer working. I hope you guys are seeing it very clearly. Okay, guys, then we'll connect our shoulder slope. So guys, after that, we're, after that, we're going to measure out our bust pan. The bust, uh, sorry, let us label out so that it will be easy for us to know the one we're working on. This is our chest line, bust line, or breast point line, under bust, half length line, then hem line also is the same thing. So guys, on the breast point, we're going to measure out 4 inches. The bust pan I'm working with is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So then on the under bust, we're going to measure out 3.5. Then 3.5 here also. So then we'll connect from this line to this place. So we'll connect this way. So guys, after that, from here we're going to come down with two inches. So guys, the next thing we're going to do now is to measure out our darts. 
measurement so here on the half length we're going to measure out two inches same thing on the under bust line measure out two inches this is for the breast curve then you connect the line then you sketch out your breast curve this is how it should be then it will go and meet this two inches that we came down with are you guys seeing the shape of my breast if you have a french curve you can make use of it me so guys after that the next thing we're going to do now is to come up here with by two inches because most times after shaping it you find out that one side is shorter than the other side so you just come up by two inches you keep your tape this way then you draw the line to meet it here so guys this is it that's all so this is the line we're going to be cutting out this one is not needed and that's so we're going to be cutting this out so guys after that we're going to get our measurements the bust measurement we're working with is 41 41 divided by 4 is 10 and a half 10.25 so we just approximate it to 10 and a half and you impute it here plus two inch sewing allowance and this half inch that we're cutting out here so making it two and a half so after that you come down to your underboss the underboss measurement we're working with is the round underboss measurement we're working with is 35.5 so 35.5 divided by 4 is 8.35. So let's just call it 8 and half. Eight and half plus 2 inch sewing allowance and 2 inch that. This that that we that we marked out. We're going to also add it back. So 2 inch sewing allowance. Then two inch that. So guys, after that we're going to take the waist measurement. The waist measurement we're working with is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Then plus 2 inch sewing allowance and 2 inch for the that. So that's it guys. So then we connect So guys, after this thing that we did here, the armhole line is going to extend. This is no longer going to serve as the armhole. So the armhole is going to extend like this. To meet this point so guys now this is the new armhole that we're working with so guys that is it for this so we're going to cut out So guys, this is it for the front pattern. This is it for the front pattern. So now we're going to cut out the back. First, we're going to get the, the zipper allowance. We'll mark out two inches line for zipper allowance. This is our shoulder line so from our shoulder line we're going to mark out our shoulder measurement which is eight so from there we'll come down by nine inch for our armhole then that's our chest line 
yes and it also can be called armhole line so we'll now measure out our our half length okay guys so this is it so we're going to measure out this eight inches down here also and connect the line so we're going to get the midpoint video tip like this and get the midpoint for the back arm hole you don't need to come in by half inch you're just going to sketch the arm hole out you just connect it this way so this is the way you're going to connect your arm hole you don't need to come out here by half inch anymore so this is just it so then we we'll measure the neckline. The neckline we'll be using for the back. We're using the same neck width for the front and the back, which is three inches. Then for the neck depth, we're making it of one inch. So we'll connect. Then we'll come down with half inch for our shoulder slant. We'll connect. So guys on this chest line you're going to come down you're going to measure out your boss pan which is four measure out your boss pan and also measure it on the half length so then you're going to come down with one inch so on the half length line you're going to come out here by half inch and come in by half inch for your for your dark leg so you connect like this to this one inch that we came down with you connect first of all you connect this one then you connect your dark leg connect your dark leg So guys this is it for the back for this type i'm also going to measure out my round underbust my underbust measurement is 14. so i'm going to rule out the line too line for my underbust i forgot to mark it out initially so guys, we take the second first measurement. The bust measurement is 41 divided by 4 is 10.25, which I, I approximated to 10 and a half. Then plus 2 inches sewing allowance. So guys, on the under bust, I'm going to measure the round under bust. The round on the bust is 33.5, which is 8.25, which is 8.35. I also approximated it to 8.5. Plus 2 inch sewing allowance. And this half inch for darts. So the waist measurement. The waist measurement is 36 divided by 4 is 9 plus 2 inch sewing allowance and 1 inch for for the darts so guys we connect the line So guys this is it for the back now i want to um also add something in case you don't want you in case you want a princess that for the back this is the way you're going to do it you just have to 
place your pattern this way you place your pattern this way you make sure this center line is on this zipper line you place it this way then place this like this but when you're placing this you're going to make sure you're folding this boss part inside you're taking it inward it should be like this so that when you're cutting out you're not going to cut out or mistakenly cut this breast part and also it's not the back is not supposed to have the same shape with this one because you don't have breast at the back so that's the reason you're going to take it in so when you do that you can then cut out that's just the way you're going to do it so that you the back will also be princess that but if you don't want it to be princess that then you're okay like this so then let us cut out be all for princess that was here this is the front part and this is the back in my next video i'll be showing you guys how to join it yes i'll be showing you guys how to join it but the one i'll be showing you guys there's this one i caught for a client that but that one the back i also made the back princess that it's not just like this so that's what i'm going to show you guys how to join in my next video so guys thank you for watching please please guys if you find this tutorial helpful please do well to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay guys see you guys in my next video thank you all and god bless you ciao